Abruzzese, Rung de Gordian Gancori, Shepherd. Oh! Of a Michael's when he fit off! Of a Cori Shepherd! When he had it again! Here are the creation! Well, he now only saw Ara Poster de Costa, Ario Wen, and Sophia. I'm a bike all when our blind ball piece to give a no. Owen, Harry Hawley. Oh, can't give it a deep Owen, Venables. I'm a ride if he made. I'm a ride if he made. Then I heat my arm, Ben. Oh, my Ben. And you put the dal, the man Ben Dan. The dal, the man go what boys in the skin. Now, quite. Poi vinen sekerar ke ola na kema al kavle a kavle ola ikarav Europe dan asil ar vedo la dai globs in kord vena kor chewin now ma hold forth and try sawi by Colwyn I think of a bit my darling boss him but with them beads where they set the elven day with the pound try some hour at any a try some hour it come ni pound ma Kevin and Hern Evans the card of company ni try at any Kev Jack Dylan Kev again crayon get a kair deed kair var then cast now with Evid I have a kidney gallop another than all my body Australia and another I don't get an hour get an hour to do mass name pronoun body game Lanet on Lanet are a bending give on all a all a lar whole for the Sir Benfro Sir Caradigion Ar ben ni gyfo nôl ar ma. Ie, yeah, mae'n hyfryd cael ti yma gyda ni ar sgorio. O ran holffordd, tiad, lot yn digwydd ma ar un o bryd, maen nhw'n ceisio cyrraedd Ewrop eto. Ond beneidio o'r cyfan sy'n digwydd oddi ar y cae falle gyda'r clwb? Ar ben ni, a fi siarad â pennach yn uh, ymal, cwn uh, ar ben chwarae gyda fe, gwrs yn cyfyrddu, na ar gwaith maen nhw'n wneud yn y cymdeithas i adeiladu'r clwb yn mor pwysig, a uh, ni edrych fel beth sy'n digwydd i cyrfyrddu nhw, gwrs. Maen mor pwysig i'r ardal yma bod uh, clwbiau fel Hulffordd yn edrych i adeiladu'r holl cymdeithas a mwyn am pwysig wrth gwrs. Ti sôn am cyfyrddyn fy na, fi llawer yn cofio falle y cyfnod pan mae'n cyfyrddyn yn cyrraedd Ewrop y Cefyn yn ei chanol i. Pwy sy'n mwyn gweld cwpl o hen luniau? Oh, Cwn i offre. At gofio mwy i mynd. O bach yn o clygeran, cofio i mynd. <laughs> Ar boi. Yeah. Dyddi yma? Dyddi yma, arbennig. Ddim dall gwall gwyn gyda fi mynd â chwaith. Ond, uh, Dyddiau ar arbennig ond wyth tîm arbennig yn ni wrth gwrs a cyderi ddwy'r Mr Thomas wedi wneud mor gwmyd am y clwb a treul gorau glas i wneud siŵr bod yr ardar ar, ar y gyd yn, yn cynrychioli y cyngair wrth gorau glas. Ie, yeah, ennill Cwpan Cymru fod yna ddod y llafbwynt neu cyrraedd Ewrop, yn ysgwrs am Ewrop, pan yr amser ond Cwpan Cymru, dipyn o ddyrnod. Wedi ei antipyn o ddyrnod, ond nhw oedd y taith mewn i Ewrop yn arbennig a profiad a rhywbeth ni o hyd fel grŵp o chreu wedi rhyw hyn yn siarad amdano, felly mae fe'n meddwl mor gwmwyd am y clwb, achos mae fe'n codi'r clwb fel sydd wedi digwydd i hwffordd uh, Lenny. Ie, yeah, maen nhw'n ceisio gwneud hynny eto. Dyma sefyllfa i chi, dwy gêm sydd fynd yn y tymor i'r am fwyaf o glybiau. Neithwyr Ceicona bala yn dy sgôr dim goliau. Yn digon o drafod strwng y rheolwyr a team yr rheoli ddyn ni wneud ar ôl y gêm. A lawr yn y gwylodion wedi ni. Aberystwyth, by Colwyn, pont y pridd yn brwydro'i aros yn y gynglair. A dyn nhw'n chwarae gilydd pnawn mae mae mor agos lawr yn y cef. Ar arbennig yn nwy, yna beth sy'n arbennig y bydd ti'r uwch cyngair, mae ma pob gêm mor dyn, mor agos, a, a pob i'n yn treol i gorau glas i cael y mantais bach, a, a siwt mae hwnna yn digwydd ond heddi mor dyn. Bo ddoi ti mor gwmwyd ar, ar y lein, a fi'n gwybod maen nhw siŵr o fod yn siarad beth ti bod dim ond gêm arall, ond fi'n credu mae mae bach mwyn yna. Ie, yeah, fi'n credu bod ni wedi cyrraedd y pwynt, ddim yn rhaid ennill y gem yma. Kevin y sôn, am uh, cyn gyd chwraewr yng Nghyfyrddin, Tony Penn y Creolwr Hulffordd erbyn hyn, wrth gwrs, mae fe ni bod yn siarad gyda Siôn y Dafydd. Well, Tony, there's so much at stake today for both teams. You're fighting to keep on to that seventh spot. Colwyn Bay are fighting to stay in the league. How do you ensure that things stay as calm as possible this afternoon? I think the lads have done fantastic this year, you know, youngest team in the league. It's been a long season, I'll be honest. Europe has caught up with us a bit. But uh, in terms of uh, pressure for the boys, just wanted to go out and enjoy themselves, really. That's, that's all we want them to do. Like I said, they're a young team who enjoy playing football and um, we just take one game as it, as it comes. The fact that you've won three consecutive games now, it's the first time you've done that in the league since November 2022. What has that done for the mentality? I know you're smiling, but what has that done to the confidence of this group? Just talked about it in there. It's the first time we did it since early last. I wasn't listening, I probably. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, 
Now's the time the boys have got confidence. Um, like I said, there's no pressure on us. Other people might put outward pressure on us, but for me and the club and, and the lads, we just we just want to play good football and hopefully take our chances when they come. That, that's been the issue we've had this year. We haven't scored enough goals. You know, we, we've conceded less than we did last year, but we've scored a lot less than we did last season. And if you don't score goals, you don't win games of, of football. Um, we've drawn a lot more this year. Um, so hopefully we take our chances when they come. Um, but we know how tough it's going to be. Colin Bay, a very good side. You know, we've had three really tough games against them. The only, the only game where it was a bit skewed was, was here when the goalkeeper went off injured and um, they didn't have a subkeeper on the bench. But apart from that, you know, we drew up there and we beat them by one up there early season. So we know it's going to be a tough game today because... One, because they're a good side, and two, because of the position they're in. As things stand, you're three points ahead of Pennebont. It's Haverford West. You're in the driving seat at the moment. How crucial is it that you keep it that way? Yeah, we need to have something from the game today. We know that. Um, that takes us into the last game, knowing uh, Pennebont have got to beat us. Um, and that's all we're aiming to do, is, is come away with, with a positive result and, um, and see what happens this afternoon. But, you know, we can affect pont de and Penabon, we have to affect half West County and, and, that, and that's my job and that's what the boys will do to the best of their ability today. Tony Diolch, Pablock. Tony Pennock, good uh, Sean Ed. Of course, just the Ategi heaven, my hope for the Penabon to cord the Rosado and all that. I keep my more to the roll. I do know a clue that's on Europe and I have it and Europe have to have that and Steve Brovy and Nigra covered in a couple of weeks. My mewn i'r tymor wedyn i'w'n anodd. Mae fe yn anodd. <coughs> Oherwydd mae popeth yn mor arbennig pynt i'n Ewrop ond mae rhaid i treino trwy ddol haf hefyd. Hefyd ond 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 wedyn dachreuad with wastr y mwy o galed. Amser hyn y blwyddyn, mae pildro'n nedych ar ôl ei hunan oherwydd ti'n gwybodaeth mae'r llinell yn, yn, yn dod yn y gosach a ti'n gwybodaeth sy'n angen i wneud siŵr bod ti uh, dros y llinell. Mae'n agos iawn ar un o bryd. Hwyl ffordd di cael rhediad bach da, fel oedd Tony a John Edd yn fod yna, en eich tair yn ôlynol. O fel sy'n bythyn ni bod yn mynd o'i plaid nhw hefyd, bach o lwc, cerdiau coch, Ari. amser i'n teimlo'n berffaith. Ar un, gol bach eitha lwc i sy'n wrth nostrwytha hefyd. Ond na beth mae Tony wneud, ma, ma, ma fe really an unlucky or hot sevasva uh, with the rim pace fell for your rim pace fell for door very incredibly my person are benigi adelaide club ma the mar goal for Tony. this but on hon kevin oh just a follow then just right on on the top cornell on that now <laughs> having credit with the need favor your kit man vatle the migol kit kit goal uh, goal gate what on uh, now back and another of course on a pc whole fourth but i know just come rimana i mean this him of lano yeah this is tassen on karad Yr ail gyfle, yn allan o'r gemau'r gyfle hynny, i fynd i Ewrop, tio, chi ti'n gweld nhw'n gwneud eto? O rwy, achos mae'r profiad gyda nhw, a, a, a ffordd mae'r fel nhw'n gwneud, mae ma Tony just yn wastod yr un fath o person, sy'n mynd me, i chael, sy'n mynd i, li, I sel, pe ma, sy'n peth yn mynd i ffordd e, felly, mae'n ddau just wneud yn siŵr bod war i pob gem fel mae'n dod o'n flaen nhw, ond ni gyd yn gwybod fel bydd e'n gwneud, mae fe wastod eisiau cymryd y pwysau o'r boes, a, a hwn am pwysig iddo e ond mae wedi paratoi nhw i ennill y gem. O, sôn am bwysau, dyrch chi'n ei clywed gan reolwr by Colwyn. Nesa, Steve Evans gyda Sean Ed. Well, Steve, we've officially entered last chance saloon territory for Colwyn Bay. What will be the key messages to your team ahead of today's crucial game? Yeah, just go out and, you know, play our way. You know, we know what the task in hand is. You know, we, we know we have to win the game to keep ourselves alive um, and not depend on other teams today. Um, and that, that's, that's the job in hand, you know. Um, if we go out and perform like we did last week, we'll give ourselves a very good chance. Yeah, the fact that you got that much-needed win last week, have you noticed, has that changed anything in terms of the mentality of your team? No, we've always known what we've got to do. You know, I know the togetherness I've got in the group, you know, and that was evident last week. Um, and, you know, today's about going out, winning your battles, you know, running harder than them, winning them 1v1s, you know, and... You know, being strong defensively, which we were, we were excellent in that department last week. And we're going to have to be, do the same today. Um, um, you know, we're full of confidence, you know, we know what we've got to do and, you know, what will be, will be. You're fighting to stay in the league. Haverford West, they're going to be desperate to cling on to that seventh spot. Is this the toughest challenge you think you've had in the second half of the season so far? Yeah, because it's the next game. You know, we know what we've got to do. We've got to win the game or, you know, so, um, you know, we're up for it. You know, we we you know we can't go gung ho in the first five minutes. You know, but we know we've got to go and get something from the game. So, you know, we're we're well we're well well prepared. You know, and you know we're gonna hopefully give the seagulls back at home in the clubhouse um, something to cheer about today. Steve, do you have Cheers.
Ie, mae'r gwylanod yn gwylio, ond i'n clywed bod yna'n lond lle yn y clwb, ond i'n clywed bod beic yn dicer arfed. Ie, so, yeah. diolch fawr am wylio, gyfeithio gael chi pnawn, uh, well, wedyn ni hapus, ond bod yn dydd iedd fod yn hefyd. Am diddorol gyda Steve Evans, dwi'n mynd i gael tymor gore, ennill pen wythnos drethau. Pam angen ennill, maen nhw wedi llwyddo gwneud hynny, maen nhw dal ynddi, na beth sy'n ddiddorol? Na beth yeah, sy'n bwysig o'r anw, maen nhw dal ynddi, ond uh, diolch clwb enn fawr a arbennig i galw yn y cyngair, a, a, a popeth maen nhw'n dod i'r cyngair, felly uh, a, a fi'n, fi'n nabod sydd Evans am blynydd dde a ffordd ma fi'n paratoi i hynna, paratoi i'r tîm uh, unwaith eto, ti ma, ma fi'n gwybod beth sy'n o flane. A, ma, a beth wedi bod yn eitha ymlacio trwy'r holl tymor yn gwybod nawr ma, fi'n, nawr ma popeth yn disgwyl a, a, a becso nawr. Ie, yeah, maen nhw wedi bod yn gwrthod gweud must win. A maen nhw wedi bod yn cyrraedd y pwynt nawr fel y sion yn yn son. Last chance o lŵn must win, fe bynnag chi sy'n defnyddio. Ni wedi cyrraedd y pwynt yna yn y tymor. Ni hefyd wedi cyrraedd y pwynt yn i mi uno am tîm e sylwebu. Ni'n gweithio Kevin Galed, mae fe ni fod yn sylwebu gyda Nick Parry. A o faint Teddy Jones. Ond yn Saesneg hefyd, ni'n gweithio bod Kevin yn nabod pawb. Mae fe nabod y gwr yma hefyd. Legend yma. Mike Davis gyda Sean Maredydd. Mr. Davis, can you even turn our chef Kev with a McCall Megan Mike? Ah, oh, Kove, Indrome, Ara Wand, Ara Left Foot, Kove, straight Muni, Street Muni goal. Uh, in our Dunyon Moya Poisigi, Ir Popolo, Ardal, Escola Preselli, and Ben Danta, Arbenigi Galeo Heed, uh, and Pildrod. We have a Kelty Mark, Kev, Kelani Point Sulwebi, Kevin and Mini Sulwebi, well, any goods, and Swissneg, English language commentary available, Mike Davis for Sean Meredith. Ond yw ni fyny, os oes yna Lena, fi'n gobeithio bod yna Lena i Nick Parry, achos mae y waint yn y Jones a Kevin Evans wrth i ochr e. Drawt o chi, Nick. Mae o'r chasing Hafferford West, toast a relegation threatened Colwyn Bay in a fixture that will have implications at both sides of the playoff conference. Bluebirds come, came from behind to beat Barry two goals to one last weekend, their third consecutive win, and they could confirm seventh spot if they better Penavant's result at Pontypridd later today. Colwyn Bay won for the first time in Phase 2 last weekend as they defeated Pontypridd 1-0 and are now only two points behind Aberystwyth. However, defeat today and a win for Aber at Barry would send the Seagulls down. Everything to play for, Sean Meredith. Absolutely, Mike. A must-win game, as you say, for Colwyn Bay. Alfred West, of course, on a very good uh, run so far. Three on the bounce, so they'll look to add to that. Well, certainly I was here for the last win for Haverford West, a dramatic last-minute goal, a bizarre goal scored by Corey Shepherd. But Colwyn Bay travel here knowing that probably a win is required to ensure that they stay in the Welsh Premier League and do not make an immediate return to the Cymru North. And the two managers shaking hands, Steve Evans and Tony Pennock. And here are today's teams. For Halford West, two changes following the win over Barrytown. Ricky Watts returns as captain. Declan Carroll makes his first full start, but they are without influential striker Martel Taylor Crosstill. He suspended. Steve Evans makes one change. Matthew Hill replaces Lloyd Marsh Hughes in a very attacking lineup. Yep, you have the formation. So five in the back remain the same for the Halford West. Jenkins, Sabone, and Brogue. They'll look to marshal uh, that defence. One change, as he's saying, Declan Carroll moves into midfield with uh, full set and dire. They'll provide the attacking firepower. Colwyn Bay, they go with a familiar four in the back and Downey, he'll just st- sit there in front of the back four. One thing's for sure, as we were saying at the start of the programme, they need goals, hence why they've gone ma- mainly with three up front, Akban, Hill and Cummins. They need goals, Mike. Here he is, man of the moment, player of the month. Getting close to 100 starts in the Welsh Premier, a constant threat down the left-hand side. He does pop up with the odd goal. He's got nine in total in his Welsh Premier career thus far. Tony Pennock there. And he is the man to watch for Colwyn Bay. He spent most of his playing career outside of the Welsh Premier with clubs such as Everton, Chester, Morecambe. 
everything will come through him. He's a very accomplished midfield player and will look to spread the play when he can. Our referee this afternoon is Mr. Bryn Markham Jones, 37 years of age, on the FIFA list, a very experienced official. But in 20 Welsh Premier League games this season, he has shown five straight red cards. And in the two previous home matches for Haverford West, the opposition, Aberystwyth and Barry, have been reduced to ten men following two controversial decisions. Hopefully we won't be talking about controversial decisions by the end of the 90 minutes, Sean, but certainly I would think Haverford West start as today's favourites. Yeah, you know, they're playing at home as well. They've got a good uh, following here this afternoon. I think they've given 100 free tickets, as we see this. Yeah, they've given 100 free tickets to the local community. So, you know, as, uh, as Kevin was saying at the start of the programme, they're, they're a club that's looking to develop off the field and, and on the field. Obviously, they've had experience of, of Europe uh, last season, so they'll look to add to that as well. But, yeah, certainly they'll be favourites for, um, for this afternoon, I would have thought. And pressure on both teams and on both managers. We heard them speak before the game. Tony Pennock trying to take a little bit of pressure perhaps off um, the youngest team on average age in the Welsh Premier League. He got um, that in, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. He made the point there. But, you know, it does take it out of you, especially your first maybe journey into Europe where you have to train throughout the summer, something that's not used to uh, as a player or as a club. So, you know... The experienced clubs like New Saints and, and Bala, for example, they're, they're seasoned pros in the uh, in the European uh, game, so to speak. And early pressure on following Bay and this the first touch there that is shanked over the gantry. And Halford West will settle into their normal possession game here. They like to make the pitches big as possible playing with three at the back and the two wing backs in Yori Humphreys on the right and Prisabz's Abruzzese out on the left hand side interesting that Corey Shepherd doesn't make the starting lineup today Martel Taylor Crossdale also out Dan Hawkins not selected they are without a number of very influential players that could be immediate starters Jazz Richards, Dylan Reese out for the season, Elliot Scotcher. And here's Fawcett. Fawcett. Clever play by the number nine to Yori Humphreys. Humphreys getting his chance in the absence of Jack Wilson, who we understand may well be out for the season. to Declan Carroll but not the best first touch from Declan Carroll and perhaps a bit of a surprise to see Declan Carroll make the move back into the Welsh Premier League from uh, the Pembrokeshire First Division he was with Moncton Swifts obviously played for Aberystwyth and for Carmarthen has been around the Welsh Premier League scene but uh, an interesting signing for the end of season from Tony Pennock from well you just mentioned the you know extensive injury list they have they've had to They'll have to, they've had to bring bodies in, so to speak, and uh, he, is, he's, he's, he's no, you know, he knows the, the Premiership very well, so he's an experienced campaigner, is Declan Carroll. But it is a step up, as you say, moving from a, a lower league like that into, into the Welsh Prem. I think we were, we were also interested in the way how Tony Pennock would set up his team here. We were thinking about Rio Dyer and uh, Ben Fawcett leading the line and where perhaps Carroll would fit in and perhaps where they would play Whitmore as a more forward midfield player. Abruzzese. Abruzzese on his left foot March player of the month that's excellent play an opportunity to pull it back here and an early opportunity for Haverford West the ball played back towards Declan Carroll by Rio Dyer yes great play down the left hand side as you say influential and he tries to find Carroll in the middle he's free if he doesn't get past the keeper there Oh, he's missed the target. I thought, honestly thought, that the keeper had made a save there, but that is a miss. 
Well, that's one of the misses of the season. In my opinion, Dyer has done so well from the pass from Abruzzese. And Carroll's just drifted into the six-yard box on his right foot and missed the target from about three. Well, here's an opportunity, but Jenkins is across against Matthew Hill. Jenkins had to be alert there, Sean. Yeah, he's... He's a quality player, Jenkins. He reads the ball and reads the play so well, and he's got a spring to his to every uh, jump as well. He's, uh, he's he's one of those players I think that you know maybe a professional club could take advantage of, and just maybe I don't think it's a gamble to be honest. I think with a player like him, his natural ability, if he went full time, could be something special. Yori Humphreys. Breaking down the right-hand side, Humphreys, opportunity to shoot, checks back, looking for Carroll, Watson with a tackle. Nice little touch from Yori Humphreys, is picked up by Fawcett, this is Kai Whitmore. Whitmore spreads it wide to Abruzzese, he picks up the ball once again, outside the Colwyn Bay 18-yard box. They choose to keep possession, Abruzzese floats it in towards Fawcett. The absence of Martel Taylor Crossdale, the big man in the Hufford West forward line. Without him, it makes it much more difficult for players like Dyer and Forsyth. But there is a foul on Declan Carroll, and it's within shooting range and an opportunity perhaps for Abruzzese. The foul on Carroll yes. and the a yellow well. card immediately shown to Sam Hart. Yeah, it's just a bit late. Oh, a bit. He's, you know, he's lucky there. We saw a potential red card in Aberystwyth, and that is just well. He's come. He's come. He's come off the ground. You know. Yeah. I know the, the referee was right in in the sp in the place he needed to be, and you know, if he did show a red there, I wouldn't be surprised. It's a very very early yellow card, and pressure on this man, Reese Truman, 18 years of age, on loan from Liverpool. There will be a wall of three, now four. Abruzzese round the wall, perfect! Peach of a free kick by March's player of the month, Reese Abruzzese. He's having a fantastic season for Halford West. No chance for keeper Truman. The best possible start for Halford West and Tony Pennock. Seven and a half minutes play, played. Halford West won. Colwyn Bay nil. What a free kick this is. You know, I fancied him as soon as he steps up to take that free kick. I fancied him. And he's put it right in the top bins, as they say. No chance for the keeper. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. Bit of curl, bit of dip. Absolutely brilliant, but obviously easy. I think he was helped. There's a little bit of a breeze behind him, but take nothing away from Risa Bruzesi. An excellent effort, an excellent goal, and the best possible start for the Bluebirds. Haverford West 1, Colwyn Bay 0. You can't say they, they deserve it as well with the start that I mean, we're nearly into 10 minutes on the clock. And they've been so far the dominant side. A sixth goal of the season for Risa Bruzesi, included in Mark Jones's Cymru C team squad this season. Another foul by Alex Downs. And that was on at Bruzesi as well. Now Bruzesi has recovered, the goal scorer, and he floats this high pressure on Truman, stays on his line, and it's two! And it's Lee Jenkins with a flick header and an assist for Abruzzese this time. And a nightmare start for the Seagulls here at the Oggy Bridge Meadow. Floated in by Abruzzese, flicked on by Lee Jenkins, beating Thompson to the bottom corner. And we've only played nine minutes here, and it's Haverford West 2, Colwyn Bay now. Yeah, Abruzzese. It's a great ball in. All Lee Jenkins needs to, keep, needs to do is get his head to it. It's a flick. And it finds the bottom corner. Nearly doesn't touch it. 
nearly doesn't touch it, it'll go in. But he gets his head there, a little flick, and it's 2 0. You're going to be critical of the goalkeeper here at all, uh, Sean. He stayed on his line. Should he have come for that, or is it the responsibility of the two central defenders? Well, he's got two centre halves in front of him. They're, they're big boys as well, so he'd be looking for them. He's young. Uh, but he's looking for his centre half to do better than that. But I said when I were looking at, at Jenkins, he can jump. He's maybe not the tallest of, of players, but he's got such a great spring to his leap. Well, we just uh, spoke earlier about Lee Jenkins' attributes, and one of them was to get up really high for headers at set pieces, and he's shown exactly what we mean with that excellent goal, a third goal, and two in successive matches he got that all important equaliser against Barry Town but here come Colwyn Bay looking to strike back immediately but the worst possible start the long trek down from Colwyn Bay and here is the bottom six as it stands and at the moment Colwyn Bay it'll be out of their hands with defeat here And it'll be Andy Dyer's team, father of Rio Dyer, up front for Halford West. Britain Ferry, congratulations to them achieving promotion from the Cymru South earlier in the week with a comprehensive victory against Ammonford. And Britain Ferry making a return to the Premier League for the first time since 1997. They were there in 92-93 in the inaugural season. Remember playing against them, Mike? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. Significant changes have been made at the old road and that's why they've achieved their licence and why they will be going up. And they have an important game this afternoon. They will go up as champions, but they face Llanelli at Stebbenheath in the final fixture of the season in the Cymru South. Akpan unable to hold the ball up, has not a touch yet and his side is 2-0 down. Pressure on Hart. Hart heads away. This is Fawcett. Fawcett looking to turn and Ricky Watts nicks the ball away from... Downey. Abruzzi, is he absolutely on fire? Dyer out to Humphreys, inside to force it. Chance to shoot, it's a cross shot. And the ball deflects kindly for Colwyn Bay. As they look to clear. Akban turns, but excellent tackle by Tabone. Real stalwart at the back for Halford West this season, Luke Tabone. Yeah, Halford West will be looking to uh, seal this game as soon as they can get the third goal. It's a good clearance in the end by Colin Bay, but they're looking to press as much as they can in this first 15 minutes or so. Fawcett shoots from just outside the box and pulls his right hand, right foot shot across and wide yeah there's a bit of wind here so I don't blame him when he wants to take on a shot no. when the wind's behind you why not the keeper low on confidence obviously conceding two early goals and of course a win for Halford West would pile pressure on Rhys Griffiths as Pennebon to travel to Pontypridd this afternoon and if Halford West go on to secure the three points, it'll be a must-win if Pennebont to keep their hopes alive of finishing seventh. Jenkins wins the header. It's been all Halford West in this first quarter. And here's Fawcett. Last time the teams met here, finished 5-0. A hat-trick for Martel Taylor Crosstill that afternoon. Colwyn Bay were obviously hampered by the loss of their keeper Alfie Brooks with Sam Hart taking over in goal he's on fire at the moment and he full of confidence a bit of trickery there and you must think you know psychologically what goes through somebody like Steve Evans yeah. his mind such an accomplished centre half and errors an error strewn season in terms of uh, defensive play by his side and uh, that was shown there in the second goal by Lee Jenkins. Well, his team talk is more or less thrown out the window, isn't it? Yeah. Because, you know, you can see two early goals within 10 minutes. Whatever he said at the start of the game, well, you know, they've got a mountain to climb now. 
It was so important that they made a positive start this afternoon. Colwyn Bay, but two down. And this is coming. Jamie coming, good run. Looking to split the Hufford West defence. But it's Tabone that's there. Tall, physical presence at the back for Halford West alongside Lee Jenkins and this man Oscar Borg Borg into the feet of Rio Dias having an extended run in the side Abruzzese under pressure and he lost out there but across comes uh, Jenkins and it will be a throw for Colwyn Bay far side It was interesting to hear Kevin Evans speak about the community factor in the Pembrokeshire area, and that was reiterated in the on the Scoria pod with Ivan Gwilym, who had company of Rob Edwards, the uh, Halford West chairman, earlier in the week. Long throw by Colwyn Bay. Will this come to anything? The ball is cleared temporarily. But an opportunity here to throw the ball into the mix by coming. Far post is downs and it's out for a first corner of the afternoon. If you do get an opportunity to listen to Ivan Gwilym's podcast with Rob Edwards, showing how the work of the club in the community has been linked to the 20% increase in attendances here at the Oggy Bridge Meadow, amongst other things. First corner of the afternoon goes to the visitors. It's the captain... And it's in towards Downs, and he got there first, Alex Downs. Cleverly worked free kick. But yeah, it looked as if it was something that they've rehearsed in training. A low cross from McCready, and Downs tries to find the target. But you can see what they're trying to do, create the space. Didn't quite get his head over it, the sails over the bar. And lucky from Downs there. Just over a quarter of an hour played here at the Bridge Meadow. Halford West lead by two goals to nil. Goals by Abruzzese and Lee Jenkins. And this Abruzzese who floats this one forward looking for Fawcett. Fawcett gets in front of Sam Hart. Collects the ball, two waiting for the cross. Dyer is there in support to Carroll. Carroll edge of the box looking to slip the defender. Slipped himself and it's McCready who collects. And that's an excellent ball by the captain, McCready. Finds Matty Hill. Hill with Owen sprinting outside him. He ignores the run of Hill. Coming then feeds Owen. And it'll be a throw. That's better from Colin Bayshaw. Starting to get a, a foot in the game now, aren't they? They're just trying to build a bit, bit of momentum. Obviously, get the first corner there, but certainly, you know. For the remainder of the game, they need to score the, sec the, the third goal, that's for sure. Harry Owen and Sam Hart make their way forward for this long throw by Matty Hill. To Bone picking up Harry Owen and is towards Owen, but it won't reach him. But he will get a second opportunity and he turns past four centers. Hill, Hill! And the sh shot is deflected and Zach Jones is quickly off his line to collect. And he looking to distribute early, looking for the use to utilise the pace of Dyer. And Dyer's in! One touch should have... Well, he should have headed that, I think, over Reese Thompson as he rushed out from goal. That was an excellent opportunity to add a third for the Bluebirds. Yeah, Jones going direct this time. And as you say, Dyer just lost his marbles a bit. They didn't quite know where the flight of the ball was going. He gets a better touch on that, he's in. I did think after the initial bounce, if he just headed it up with Thompson, with Thompson going down, sorry, with Thompson rushing off his line, that would have been enough to beat him. Now, there are Abruzzese. two players down here have collided. I think it's Reese Abruzzese and Alex Downs. And there is blood and the Two physios quickly onto the field. And neither side will want to lose these two influential players. And this is what happened. In they come into the challenge. Abruzzese wins the header. Ooh. 
clash of heads, Sean. Yeah, it's, um, it's the clash of heads in the temple there. Mm. I think Downs just comes across. Nothing intentional, but he just comes across. Abdulazizi wins the initial head. Uh, and it's uh, it's just one of the things that, that happened. You know, it's a, it's a coming together and a clash of heads. Just hopefully, hopefully the protocols are in place now. Um, that it's not the, the decision of the player to stay on, but it's those who can make the decision for them. Yeah. Well, 20 minutes played here at the Bridge Meadow. And it's all gone wrong for this man, Steve Evans, in those 20 minutes. The conceding of a needless free kick by Sam Hart, leading to Chris Abruzzese's fantastic free kick, and then the back header by Lee Jenkins beating Thompson. On Monday evening at half past nine, all the highlights from the weekend's matches, and that will be repeated on Tuesday at half past six as well on S4C. Abruzzese and Downs looking as if they may continue. Short. Well, here's the goal. You could watch this all day, couldn't you? It's just a brilliant free kick. As I said in the commentary, I just fancied him as soon as he um, strolled up on the left peg to take that one. And then goal scorer becomes the assist and provides that to, to Jenkins. Tony Pennock will certainly want to keep him on the pitch. And obviously Downs is being strapped up here. There's a, it looks to be a real lump developing. And I think he'll have a black eye tomorrow, Sean, from that challenge. But he looks to have recovered. And uh, some of the seagulls <laughs> have made the, the journey down all the way from San Elian Road to Halford West. And that supporter will be hoping that Alex Downs is able to continue following that clash of heads with Rhys Abruzzese. No, a lot Does he know he's got a seagull on his head? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> we know all about that coming from our brusters, Sean. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised, to be honest, that he's yeah. staying on with... Well, it is a fight to stay up, and... Oh, yeah. I am surprised, as I think Sean is here alongside me, that Alex Downs will continue and play has restarted. And we're halfway through the first half with the Bluebirds ahead by two goals to nil. A comfortable first 20 minutes for Tony Penix, men, but here comes Cummings across his Yori Humphreys. He goes to ground, but it will be a throw for Haverford West. Looks a strong player, Humphreys, isn't he? Mm. Uh, very athletic, he's um, known for his cross-country ability yeah. and he's interested in that sport, so plenty of legs in the young boy. And he's had to wait his turn, it's only his uh, fourth start of the season, made several substitute appearances and that's Owen heading it back for Colwyn Bay to the hands of Rhys Thompson. It's important that you, you take your, your chance. Now, when, it, when the opportunity arises, you need to take the, the chance. Obviously, you don't want anybody to be injured, but the, you know that's the nature of the game. I'm sure you've been there where somebody's come in and taken your place and uh, you, you, know, you wish them all the best, yeah. but only a certain amount of luck, <laughs> so to speak. Well, here's Downs, having recovered from that head clash. Knocks it into the channel. Zach Jones outside his area and clears over the far touchline. Zach Jones having a really good season again for Alford West. Nine clean sheets and 32 appearances, two against Colwyn Bay, but Downs in the picture. And he has gone up for this long throw, will be marked by Ricky Watts. Now the last one did cause a little bit of trouble for the Halford West defence. In it comes, is looping in, and it's Borg who clears. Dyer contests. Whitmore tidies up, knocks it wide. Pressure on Humphreys, but he can't keep the ball in, so it will be a throw for Colwyn Bay. 
halfway inside the opposition half. It would have been buoyed by that win against Pontypridd last week, the only goal being scored by Harry Owen. Here's Downs with a header. Again, it's Borg who clears. to Davis Davis looking for the feet of Akpan Akpan the tricky top scorer and that's a lovely setup for Cummings and Cummings beaten his man inside to Akpan this is excellent play by Colwyn Bay Cummings with the shot and he just pulls it a little wide of the left hand post but that's the best we've seen from Colwyn Bay after 25 minutes great work by Cummings plays the one two more or less with Akpan Tries to find the near post. Keeper may have had it covered if he had, but certainly better from Colwyn Bay. Just looks to nestle that one in the front row. Steve Evans, oh. Desperate for that goal to bring him back into the game. Well, he applauds the play. That was excellent play by Cummins and Akpan. There was a lovely ball in to the feet of Akban by Davis as well. No foul there. Play on, says referee Bryn Mark and Jones. Abruzzese across. He was have recovered from that head clash from Downs. No ill effects so far. To Bone into Humphreys down the line to force it. Ricky Watts, captain for today, Watts, and Whitmore helps the ball on to Avruzzese, and the run by Dyer, waiting for the Borg, Borg crosses low, again is picked up by Halford West, Dyer, Whitmore, nice little triangle to Borg, Whitmore again, Increase of pace. And Colwyn Bay are able to clear. Looks so easy there for half for the rest, Sean. Yeah, and I had to look at my notes there. It was Borg who's on the ball now. Yeah. Your centre half is more or less playing like a left wing. And he's there again, picks up the ball, naturally left footed, crosses low. It's cleared again by Colwyn Bay, not the best touch there by. Uh, Reese Abruzzese and it's out for a goal kick but this man Tony Pennock he'll be really happy with the first half an hour looking at his watch 27 and a half minutes played his side 2-0 to the good piling more pressure on Pennebont before their game at Pontypridd this afternoon on it goes to Bone strong and physical against Akpan and you have to say on the balance of play Sean the Halford West deserve their lead yeah, Colwyn Bay have come into it for the last five, ten minutes, but certainly, you know, the chances that they've created, the possession, you've got to say that Harvard West are deservedly too, too good. Pass back slightly short, but Zach Jones had a good look there at Whitmore, who <laughs> passed it back to give him a second glance. And what was that all about? Davis on loan from Wrexham towards Downs. The race for the second ball is won by Halford West. Fawcett. Slight to foot is Ben Fawcett. And Humphreys has done well to keep possession in the first bit, but then loses out Akpan. This is McCready. McCready out to Owen. Coming. Cummings had a lot of joy down this left-hand side, floats it in, and Zach Jones did hesitate for a second there, and I think it's Oscar Borg who's down. And then... yeah, Jones does well, he comes for it, but has to go through Borg. Well, there's a push into his back, should have been a free kick there, but keeper does well. Oof, the strong hands caught, caught at the side on the side of the face there because he was all he was pushed, but as he fell, he fell into the oncoming Zach Jones. Yeah, it was Hill's hip more or less that goes into the the head of of Borg. 
sure this man would have gone for the ball there as well. Yes. And he'd have taken everything with yeah, it. He would have. Oscar Borg. Yeah, I did have to look at my notes because he was playing more or less as a left winger for yeah. Yeah. a good two minutes, decided this, to stay up. This, this is clever play, I think, you see, by Halford West. When they dominate possession, they do release one of the three centre backs. So it, it's obviously a tactic that they are able to implement. Where they're in possession, yeah. they're able to use and utilise. It's either usually to bone down the right hand side or Oscar Borg. Down well, the left hand side. Yeah, that's, that's the beauty of having yeah. three centre halves, yeah. basically, isn't it? The fact that you can release one of them, especially if you're dominating the game as yeah. they are now. Not only do your wing backs have to push on, but you can release one of those three in the back as well. It is clever play. And it's obviously come from the manager who gives that approval or that authority for the centre halves to, to mix and match. Yeah. Think about it. not many teams go with that three in the back no. and two wing backs. No. It was no. maybe a, a formation that's out of fashion, but Alex Downs sprinting down that right hand side doesn't complain. No foul awarded. It will be a throw to Halford West. Lee Jenkins, scorer of the second goal throws it long and a little bit of a win behind Akpan Akpan collects two around him beats the first man but Abruzzese is there and again the squeeze is on they managed to squeeze that ball out to Harry Owen on the right hand side Owen looking for the feet of Akpan, that's an excellent pass by the defender, lovely touch towards McCready, and a, that was really important tackle by Ricky Watts, the captain. That was developing into a good move there once again, with Akpan in the middle of it. His side, uh, Steve Evans' his side coming back into it, uh, Sean. Some flashes of attacking intent. Given away by uh, Whitmore. Yeah, they've done. They've done better. They certainly, you know, going two 0 down within well eight minutes of the game. You know, it, it is a shock to the system. But they haven't really created any clear cut chances. You can't say other than the cross there where Jones came for it and mm. uh, maybe downs with um, or Cummins, I should I say, with a with a shot that went past the uh, past the post. That's about it really from the visiting side. Ball played forward to put pressure on Jenkins and he chose the easier option to clear over the touchline. But it will lead probably to another long throw from Matty Hill. It is a useful weapon that they have here. If they can get the first touch. Hill throws long. Jenkins wins it. Jones calls and he collects confidently. Zach Jones, exactly what you need from your keeper, Sean. Yeah, came for that as he did for the cross. But he's, he's the man. The spring on this guy is, is something else. Uh, you see, with some players, it's just he just hangs, he floats there for a good two seconds. I'm not sure how he does it, but there's the long kick from Jones with the wind. Oh, and goodness me, that was almost the first classic first touch from uh, Ben Fawcett. He knows how good an opportunity that was. Well, not for the first time either. Was just saying, well, try to make it come wrong. Yeah. You know, maybe next time because it is a tactic that's working. We say we have it West do have the advantage of a slight breeze here. So not for the first time they've caught out the defence of Colwyn Bay. And they haven't taken responsibility at all. Sam Hart and Harry Owen. Again, they try the ball into Akpan's feet. Tabone is there. Yeah, 
Davis loses possession. This is Carroll. Carroll to Dyer. Dyer looking to turn. Good tackle by Harry Owen. And they play it to Cumming. Jamie Cumming. And again, it's Jenkins across. and touch by Fawcett into the path of Rio Dyer. Dyer holds up play, slows down the move, but they keep possession. Again, Whitmore tries the defence spitting pass, and again it's Jenkins who gets there in front of Akpan. Jenkins! <laughs> well, Perhaps he is better in the air. <laughs> well, let's get one of those, isn't it? Why not? It just opens up for him and he thinks, oh, I'm having a crack here. Yeah. Well, you can't blame him for having... Did well, though. Did yeah. well just to nick it off Akban in the first place. There was no shout man on from uh, from a Colwyn Braves effective for, for Akban, so he just nicks it and goes on a little run. And he says, why not? Long again is towards Akpan. Oh, and Akpan's caught. And I think he could see yellow here. It was a very late tackle by Udoyan Akpan. And it's Risa Bruzesi who's in the wars again. <laughs> exactly in the wars. He's just a bit late, done him there. Just leaves his hand. He'd be all right. Five hundred and twenty-three, the official attendance, and as I said a little bit earlier, an eighteen percent improvement. Does that count? <laughs> Is that one of the five hundred and eighty-three? <laughs> an eighteen percent increase in attendances here at the Bridge Meadow this season, following impressive community engagement by the club. Jenkins. Again, he got the run on the defender, but his head to it, off target this time. You know, he has no right to win that, but he reads the cross so well. His run across the defence there is superb. OK, he doesn't get it on target, but he's certainly a strong, so strong in the air. I mentioned the uh, the pod a little bit earlier. You can access the Scorio pod on the social networking platforms, Facebook... And X, if you want to listen to Rob Edwards' interview with Ivan Gouli. I'm sure Mr Edwards will be really happy with the way that Tony Pennock has led the, the team and the club this season. And a seventh position finish would provide them with an opportunity to get into the playoffs and another perhaps potential trip to Europe. Now, live game today, live game tomorrow as well in the Gennaro Adran Trophy final. It's Cardiff City versus Swansea City tomorrow at 5 o'clock online and on, on X and on Facebook. Dyer. Whitmore, and again the overlapping Borg, opportunity to cross, not the best, didn't beat the first defender, and here comes McCready, the captain, opportunity to counter-attack, McCready, oh, pass Jenkins if he wasn't there, and the pass does reach Akpan, not the best first touch, and after that such an impressive run by Tom McCready, the best we've seen of the captain this afternoon, rather disappointing from Akpan. It's a good run by McCready. We said at the start of the programme he's one to watch. He's one of the players for Colwyn Bay that will create. Round Jenkins, a lot too easy there. Just a little dummy. 
as if he was going to pass and then look past he goes that's an excellent pass by coming davis davis crosses in towards the near post it's collected by owen kai owen crosses towards the far post hill oh what a chance for matty hill a free header at the far post heads it wide could he have headed it back across I think he's offside anyway, but he does well to peel to the back post completely free. Should have looked across the back four of Harford West there just to keep him on side. It's a good quality cross. Should have kept his run. Here's the run. McCready just thinks round Jenkins. Not many people do that. Does well Jenkins to get a foot back in there. Again, promising from Colwyn Bay. Two nil is one of those weird ones when you go in at half time, Mike. Okay, you're two to the good, but well, that's good play by Whitmore. Whitmore keeps going. One too many step overs, perhaps from uh, from Kai Whitmore. He has that in his locker. Now Lee Jenkins lunges in against Akpan. He's left Akpan sprawling on the floor. No free kick given. We play on. Quite surprised as that because he well he dived into that challenge. Well, Steve Evans wasn't happy, was he? No. You know, you look at the, the look of thunder on his face with that challenge. He must have won the ball. But Akpan ended up in the little booth over there. Downs again into Akban, tries to play it round the corner, but Jenkins is there to tidy up. Crucial part of the play today, and here is collected by Declan Carroll for Hufford West. Carroll on his left foot, his weaker foot, it must be said, and his shot dribbles past. Well, this is the challenge. Ooh, I'm not sure if he wins the ball there, and that's why Steve Evans is absolutely livid goes through him, he's off the ground takes him out oh, that is a yellow card in my opinion it's very interesting because I was here for the Barry Town win for Halford West and Aidan Lewis again off his feet a tackle in the middle of, of the field against Martel Taylor Crosstail so straight red you know perhaps, perhaps, yeah. perhaps there was more contact but again Nothing, not even a free kick well, for that. You always run the. Here comes McCready. McCready wants a free kick there. Ask the question. You were yeah. saying something. I was going to say, you, you, you always run the risk, don't you? If you're two foot and you're flying off the ground and you don't win the ball, you're running that risk of a red card. Yeah. I can completely see why Steve Evans is livid with that decision. Again, another opportunity for Colwyn Bay to throw this long. Hill towards Hart. Borg rushes across, trying to stop the corner. And Halford West do well to clear downfield. It's collected by Kai Owen. Important time in the game now. Colwyn Bay could, well, it would change the, the game completely change the complexion of the game completely where they get a goal here now and they have grown into the game in the second half of the first half if that makes sense to you Sean it does and you would have thought there would be a bit of um, extra time given the, yeah. the head injury so you know, there, there's time for them Hart. to potentially get a, a goal before the second half and before. Hart drives it long but again it's offside given against Matty Hill Started his run too early. He doesn't need to do that. To just hold his run. His well, again, again, he's in, in the perfect position just to look across the back three. And then from that point, you can make your decision. But it's, uh, it's soft. Ja Jazz Richards and Jack Wilson celebrated their birthdays this week. Jack Wilson, unfortunately, out for the season. Martel Taylor Crosstail suspended for this afternoon's game. was something that we were looking at perhaps that they would really miss his presence up front 
with those early goals have given the advantage to Tony Pennock's men and obviously on their way the Bluebird supporters would hope to a comfortable three points as we enter the last minute of the first half I think you'd be slightly disappointed that there is a funny thing to say, but only two to the good. Uh, especially that early, early um, chance that uh, Declan Carroll missed and the opportunities that they created. And as you predicted, uh, Sean, quite a, quite a long time of injury time has been added. Five minutes added at the end of this uh, first half for the injuries to uh, Lisa Brusesi and Alex Downs Fawcett to Whitmore Whitmore playing a deeper role today and that's a poor pass by Ricky Watts the captain but reflecting on the first half Sean what do you think Tony Pennock will have to say at half time the main message is, is get the next goal lads I mean they've they have dominated. I know you were saying Colwyn Bay have come into it in the last 15, 20 minutes, but you know they've been dominant in terms of possession uh, and territory. And that third goal, I think, will just kill it off. Akpan backing into Tabone. Nothing given. Ball played long. Hart is there. Davis. Oh, good play by Daniel Davis. He looks up for the pass and the run from midfield by McCready. It was a good run by McCready as well. Coming from deep can confuse the defence. Almost found him. Davis again looks for the feet of Akpan. And then between them to Bone and Jenkins clear. A minute and a half of the five added have been played. Goals by Abruzzese and Lee Jenkins separate the sides. Six point gap between Halford West and Pennevont as it stands. Pennevont travelled to Pontypridd today. Colwyn Bay lose this one and Abbott win at Barry. Then relegation will be confirmed. And here is Fawcett. Fawcett turns and wins the free kick. And they can slow this down. Ricky Watts. Captain looking to speed things up. Yeah, just the tug of the, of the shirt there, right under the nose of the referee. An easy one for him. Now, a yellow card here for Kai Owen. Yellow card for Kai Owen for protesting against the awarding of that uh, free kick. So second yellow card for Colwyn Bay. Zach Jones, long, heart calls, wins the header, breaks for the Bluebirds. It's Dyer, Dyer to Whitmore. Oh. Three minutes played of injury time. Two to go. Harry Owen picks out Davis. in towards Hill, Hill turns to Bone, it's a foot race, out comes Zach Jones, and that's excellent play by the goalkeeper yeah, One thing about this keeper he makes a decision and he makes it early um, with the crosses that he's come for and the decision there just to, just to sweep behind his back three Owen One last opportunity perhaps Ball played long. Daniel Davis with that cross and Zach Jones calls and collects confidently once again. And he just touched that ball and it flies downfield. And again, the central defenders don't deal with it. And it's Watts looking for the feet of Ben Fawcett, but it's too far in front of number nine. Steve Evans will probably have a lot to say half-time, uh, Sean Meredith. What do you think will be said in the Colwyn Bay dressing room? 
nothing that can be said here, that's for certain, uh, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Ah, he'll be desperate just to, just to get the next goal. It's so, so important for them. Do you think he'll change things? Was that come into the game in this uh, last 20 minutes? Uh, I think you know. I think this is this is the start of Nevin's the best that he's got in terms of uh, of the city thing to say of the starting Nevin, obviously. But and there is the final uh, the whistle for half time. Steve Evans, plenty to ponder for him. A superb free kick by Reese Abruzzese opened the scoring. And then it was Lee Jenkins, this back flick that led to the second. It's the Bluebirds who lead at half time. It's Hafford West 2, Colwyn Bay 0. So, Nick, welcome to all the glow and the skin and Sir Ben Vro, Van Hen, do you them? Van Hen, Narthai Globe, Arax, and Kishoras and Gangner. And Gwilio and Disco, Nun Juanre and Hoyrach, Ponte Pryd, Gartre, Avrosrith and Abari. On the Velkin Golds, in game to vote Nathur, Hevit, and yet a Knoll and Honanessa. Kay Connor, and there's been a baller. That's that. John Roberts, Jordan Davies, Rema Franklin, Adam Millcourt Cosby, Nathaniel Oli Franklin, so give love a Mary. Kay Connor, a blind, delivered the Tarot target, Olia, Harry Franklin. Smith that slick. Can the team catch up? Franklin and Turnier get to be a bust in there. <laughs> Davis, a long way back and Hogan. Franklin run. Franklin and Erkid in right at the top. See if that's a goaler. Don't go to Vina. Looks like Erkid remiss, so they see if that's a vote. Franklin and Gurthy Mosson. Rith High Jordan Davis to Kevin Yoli Shannon. Davis and of course Cosby Thun in all. So that's Franklin. Oh, sits in the air. We have Scorio. Havana. Gurthy Mosson at Quim. And Franklin at Quim. Rith High Jordan Davis. Thun in all in Berth Faith. Eve Raskam. Eke de Mosotur. And Taranori. Rosset Roust. Davis won. Option up. And Squire, and the Franklin's and Setir Hara, eat a clump pool, really. Who Grishad, and the Mount got Jordan Davis, got the Benny, and this is George Williams. Give a little my Franklin, my trust by the color, I trust by the toast. We was on Cam Seveth, and I beat you. I'll give a little right, he Franklin, and then another Hner Gunter. With minute or now taking with this Williams, now he creates a catch of post in better. Perman are been yet. They were a mile, mile up for Nisha. The key create a satellite with the score. You have I don't need them. Golly, eh? And I think I said they all draw spread. I'm a cloudy kind of demon. And then Sir Ben Bro. Here, Broly, he bowed up over the beat. We, Kevin Evans, he kind of company. If he, Nate, Kevin Peterson, for my new taxi over here, you better look at that. I come read it, yeah, I come read it. Then he's on him a cricket, he's on him a cricket. Um, Dechre, I gave him that. Dechre Campus, he all for Kevin, can you hold a Dechre at an hour for then? But I'm a Dechre now. Oh, when you're not Benny, you can follow them on the Edric Calabi, Laura, Adelati, Adric, of Nadu or Harton, where my ride, Caro Even, I think. Ildio Kikri, the man on wedding, I'm, I'm, Drucha, need, need one for this. You Gary Lloyd and they don't amble another, they blend another, and all, uh, I know what that's, Drucha on, uh, Savon, uh, 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 for the Roy Hunamun, your, your top Cornell on, uh, Quaritag, that you might worry over a mish, or the Cody A team, Muna, Muna Pimini Kunta. You can back a hoil the brollies, you can't come in off, but you've even a head one, but not yet. Abruzzese in Cal Amsel Guichel and we'll be all I'm not ready yet. I think he's in the way. I think he's perfect. He's in the way. And I get with a nature, just Roy Kick Reed, Muni, Muni, uh, is here to say. I'm right to go in Moy, I'm a gold gate, what the last and Ari, I'm the fun where Maraichi, um, Naden Shore, Borich, and I'm the Fina, Sine, Quech, a Kurt Quech, Sauer, Wech, and I bet with a dig with my mona, Sauer, he house, and I bet with a Shamar Digo or by Colwyn and a dig when he can't. 
popeth yr eiroedd. Byddai yr eiroedd i hwlf ffordd o mewn i hanner nhw a, a, a cadw meddiant y ffordd o nhw a'n felly mae rhaid bai Colwyn codi, a, 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 codi eitha glo. Gysyn nhw cwpl o gyfleoedd, ond mae, mae yn syndod, pan chi'n mae pwy o reolwr Steve Evans, y sefyllfa o ran y gem i adael i hwlf ffordd raso i ffordd, mae'n digwydd weithiau yn amlwg ond no mewn dyn dal o bach? So, dath nhw'n ôl, unwaith nhw'n dechrau uh, cael y beir mewn i trad ac banwydd, peth eich yn dechrau cynyddu o yma a, 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 a feiwr chwreiwr a llweddol i e, bai colwyn wrth gwrs, ond a na beth mor ein, cael nhw'n mlaneud i cael y beir mewn a, ond ar y funud, at un iawn wrth sap pwynt Steve Evans, i do lawr mae'n un a fod lawr uh, a hanner amser o ddoi cic rydd, a jyst rhy rwydd, rhy rwydd a, a na pam maen nhw'n ynys fach mae maen nhw, ond gan gweud hynny, a, a, a cyfle mae na i cymuns, Peli y postyn pellach a falle ddylo wedi bwrw tagio fi'n credu wedyn cam sefyll, ond mae chances na, mae rhaid i hwlf ffordd ddim yn siŵr bod nhw ddim yn garo bai colwyn ôl mewn i'r gêm, achos ni'n gwybod y ffordd pildroed yn gyda'r uh, uh, gallu gbenni. Dyna sy'n digwydd heddi, ni wedi bod yn hel atgofion fyn yn hefyd, sôn am dy yrfa gyda cyfyrddyn, wrth gwrs, mae Mark Jones ma llais ni ar sgorio ond cyn rheolwr cyfyrddyn Amster Hyfryd, ond i sy'n sôn am Ewrop, achos gysylch chi gyfnod ar benig, mae lluniau gyda ni, o'n gemau mwy o dramatig o'r cyfnod yna. Longford, o'n Longford, mae chi gollwch chi yn Longford, ar ei holi, ar yr egwyl fyny nefyd, ond dwi'n nôl i ennill yn y drin newydd am noson. O, oedd yn noson, Hyfryd, a dim dom o'r colli yn allan y Longford. We nhw wedi rhoi ei iddo ni noswyth na, wni i ffordd i ddim i ddod nôl gyda mwy o goliau trae al wneud lan, ond o, oedd yn noswyth, Hyfryd, a gys i assist mae na, heb sy'n credu ni. Ia, o'n ni'n lleneidio dyddiau na'n ar dyddiau. A go John, oedd John yn Hyfryd, a ffordd oedd yn gyda ar bois a, a creu teulu rhwng tîm wedi dyddiau dyddi, dyddi arbennig a wedi gyda'r balans iawn gyda fe a wedi a mac i'r zod wedi just a tîm o ffordd i arbennig o'r safon uchaf a, a na beth sydd angen mynd mewn i Ewrop. Ac o fyna, mynd i Copenhagen, ennill y gem na'n golygu chwarae Copenhagen, mynd cofio y daith na, a neu bod rhoi unrhyw gyf gollwch chi o ddwy ddim yn Copenhagen, ond maen nhw'n Champions League dydy yma, a pobl yn dysgol falle byddai yn double figures. Oh, nhw'n dysgol lot mwy, credu hwn i gyd yn, uh, ar y dywel, ond uh, ni'n ffordd i noswyth na with Tony Pennock yn gol gyda ni hefyd, a with Tony Pennock yn arbennig, with ydy uh, arbennig cicio o'r smotyn uh, hefyd noswyth na, ond wn i wedi cael chance, sy'n cofio wn i wedi cael chance a with y gem yn cyfartal ar y tro, a with Mark Dodds wedi cael chance i roi ni un i fyny, ond uh, with y perfformiad yn, yn un ar, arbennig, a joch beth with yn dangos y golau a'r cyngair yn, yn y golau glas. Oedd ie, atgofion hyfryd uh, na, ddim dyffyn o gyfnod chwarae teg. Um, digon o gyfnod dan, digon o gyfnod yn holffordd hefyd. Mae Sioned gyda'i nhw sef holffordd sydd ddim ar y cain yn ffordus ar un o fryd Jazz Richards. Diolch yma, Adel. Yeah, Jazz is keeping me company. We've been engrossed with the penalty shootout going on behind us, Jazz. Your th- thoughts on that first half? It's looking pretty comfortable for Haverford West. Um, yeah, I think it was a great start from the boys. First 10, 15 minutes, obviously going 2 nil up. Um, I think we need to be a bit more tidy in certain areas because, as you can see, they've had a couple of half chances, but as long as we keep doing what we're doing, you know, stay ahead of the game, and then, you know, we, sh- we shouldn't really cause any problems to us. A goal and an assist for Rhys Abrazesi, but I want to ask you about Lee Jenkins as well, getting the goal. Oh, I did Jones described him as the terminator in that defence. He's having quite the game, isn't he? Yeah, everyone knows about Jenks, especially in the air. Like he's so he's so dominant, and you know he's so effective for us. And it's great to see him go and get a get a goal in the first half. Um, and then obviously with Abrazesi, with his um, with his qualities, he scored a number of free kicks this year, a lot of assists, and you know what a quality player he is to have in our ranks as well. Talk to us about what the mood is like at Haverford West at the moment, Jazz. You've won three consecutive games now two games left of the season. Are you feeling confident that it's you guys that will be in the playoffs? Yeah, I think we believe. Um, you know, we've not, we've probably not been at our best this season. We had um, a good a good run in uh, the, the European games at the start of the season, but um, we always knew the league was going to be difficult. It's just um, we, we haven't really got going, but we're in, we're in a good position at the minute. Obviously, we got today. We need to get today's game out of the way. And then, obviously, there'll be a big one then against uh, Penabon next week. Yeah, how important is it that you take it to that last game? Because that game against Penabon, it could be could get quite tasty, couldn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think the games against Penabon is, you know, always a competitive game. Always a, always a really good game. Um, 
So if it does come down to that last game, you can only um, um, imagine how, you know, how big it's going to be. But the smile says it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because everybody does want to see a big game. You know, we was open for it in uh, the Cymru South with um, Ferry and Tenethi. Ferry and Tenethi, sorry, yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully we can the job can get done today. But um, you know, I think the boys are more than confident to go to Penabond and give it that all. Well, Giles, really appreciate your time. Hopefully we'll see you back out on the pitch soon. And a belated happy birthday as well. It was your birthday last week or this week? Yeah. Yesterday. A very, very happy birthday. Giles, do you Well done, Annie. I'm now right now I'm Sir Iniweld. Rest your fair. Go to meet. Donahue and Squire. That's Danny Gossett. Gossett, Kishé Gossett. The Amherer game. Davis, and your pass left to Sansan, Mamma Bassa, Woolham. Woolham and coming line, and it's a good goal! And Steve, they're going to lick her! A goal for the score of goal, Gantario, and the new general Camry! Tablet here, Gun, Miles Davis. Sotiad have read at Lewis Harling. Richard at Kane Owen. Owen and Torrey to view. Owen and Julio. And Rafael, Rafael, he's down. I can now And Lewis wears in right pen of Bontara Blan. Oh, Keith Juarez, Havred, Garner and Welwyr and Gunnar in a game. Davis, oh, Davis, Danquist, and he'll get ready and demand Josh Jones. Jones, oh, we pull it, kid. And in the salty door, we... Harling, Sezi, that's Keno in. Keno in the middle, Bester! And goal, and Keno in! Tarano Ergin, and Gafton, Pelevant! Sharp. Chad and Rioli in that. Chad and Ergin, the own! And he's all weak, and Rebecca Pritchard! I have no idea to glow, my Gwent sticker, that's a bad one. Kevin Valens in Dewis, Golemis, Nick with 30 and Gallet, Valens in Wade, uh, Becky, Poison Carly, Becky Kev. Well, Golemis, you, uh, Gol e Abrus with Erbina Barry, Ben Woolham, only, only more, more Agos, e, e, e Gol Penabont, team Gol team Penabont, and a fourth. Beth Mimon I'm in, Mavin, Mantesio, Bail Dod Rossafen, and Ramdi Fanor. Cafur can have read our wedding Amergid, Tarano Ergid, or Vin Credi Marcore or Namini Mini Calcarva, Arbenig, and you come are really, really happy for the well moving Kanadi of of course, Lana and Saint in there with Heavy, Darventhig, Laura and Aberystwyth, on yeah, Becky Golemis, Ben Woolham. Mine head van well, no good, what a day. My dip in a gold, then I'm going to be throwing Arash or Rainy and Nabari. Pnown, Mart, then I came on who Ponta Preeth and Clara Heavy, then I've been pen and bond on Venin. Mae'n bai colwyn, mwy na lai'n gwybod, maen nhw'n disgyn, bron, fel mae'n pethau'n sefyll. Dysgol y mateb yn yr ail hanner. O, oh, mae'n rhaid, mae'n rhaid. Mae'n rhaid, mae'n rhaid, ar uh, rhi hir, with y gym rhi rhoeddi hwyl ffordd. Uh, rhi rhoeddi cynyddu am osod, am osodion mewn i'r uh, uh, cwrt cosbi a felly mae'n rhaid nhw'n dymas. Ond ar y llaw arall, mae'n rhaid, maen nhw'n gwybod, os maen nhw'n cael y peil mewn i atba. Mae cyfle, mae cyfle yn dod wrth hwnnw, felly os mae'n llwcar nhw mae'n waro i crefder nhw, edrych ar ôl gem i hunan, ond mae'n rhaid nhw fod mwy off y bêl, llawer mwy agresif. Ie, yeah, maen nhw wedi ei lyddio hefyd, felly maen nhw'n dachrau meddwl am hynny. Gefn ni weld, be ddaw, felly, gefn, dwi'n chwarae iawn, nôl a tîr pwynt nôl hefyd, felly, bob man ar un o bryd, a mwy o bêl drod byw i ddod fori, yn i'n gwylio nhw'n codi y cwpan. Penwth nos dweitha, ar ôl ennill y gyngrair, mae nhw'n mynd am y treble, wrth gwrs, cerdydd yn iw. Rwnd yr fanod tlws adran Gynero, fori, pump o'r glwch. Am gem, gem fach tharbi yn ne Cymru. Cerdydd yn erbyn Abertawe, mae c- Abertawe wedi ennill yn erbyn nhw. Tymor yma, ond dyma'r eilyddio, dewn ni'n gyfwy o fanylion, wrth i'n i fy nôl i'r pwynt o webu. Kevin Evans yn y ffordd i ymuno, da Owain Tudur Jones a Nick Parry. Well, welcome back to Scorio's Red Button commentary and with the news that Colwyn Bay are 2-0 down but have 
brought on Creamer. Tom Creamer replaces Sam Downey. And uh, Tom Creamer will go down in Colwyn Bay history as scorer of the first goal in the Welsh Premier League. The screamer by Creamer yeah, yes, against Barry Down. A winner of the goal, uh, well, it was goal of the month, I think, for August as well. And they will need his influence in midfield as they go to try and overturn this 2-0 deficit. And I'm sure all eyes upon to breathe and Aberystwyth will be looking at this result this afternoon. But at half-time, it's advantage the Bluebirds. Goals by Risa Bruzesi. A superb free kick curled around the wall and wide of Rhys Thompson in the goal. Second by Lee Jenkins. Again, it was Abruzzese with the assist, the long free kick. I think he's still down as well. Seems to be in a bit of uh, pain. He's been involved in everything, hasn't he? Well, Rhys Abruzzese is off the pitch at the moment, Rhys Abruzzese. And so, Halford West temporarily down to ten men. And here comes the physio. Has to rush around. Now, Risa Bruzesi, a goal, an assist. And I'm surprised at that. Surely the priority must be the welfare of the player, Sean. Well, absolutely. I am a bit shocked that the ref didn't... The only thing is, he's come. Up, he's off the pitch. Yeah. Um, and the referee's decided to, to play on, but it seems to be coming back on now. He might be able to join the attack, even. Well, here come Halford West down the right-hand side. Downs gets there before Dyer. Is that Brzezzi back on the field, Sean? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, he's back, back on the field. field. Oh, oh, and Downs is taken down there unceremoniously, and surely this must be a yellow card for Ricky Watts, and it is. The yellow is shown to Ricky Watts, the captain. Yeah, Downs is on the, on a good run here. What you see it pretty often, just taking one for the team. He doesn't get close to the ball there. Puts his foot across. I'm stopping you here, boy. Well, it was an early free kick from Risa Bruzesi that gave Halford West the lead. We've talked about how important the third goal of this game is going to be. And an opportunity here for Colwyn Bay to strike back, and it's McCready in towards Downs. He got his head to it, but straight into the arms of Zach Jones. Yeah, good ball in, finds Downs. Okay, gets gets his header on target, but never generating enough power to cause any problems for Jones in the goal. Just seems every time he goes for a header, it's, <laughs> I don't know about you, Mike, but I'm like, oh. It must hurt, yeah. The clash of heads with three Sabruzesi about halfway through the first half, which has led to the bandage look for Alex Downs. Thompson. Cool play by the goalkeeper, but it's read by... Whitmore. Whitmore, Whitmore turns. Here come the stepovers and the shot! A wicked shot right across the six-yard box. Super play by Kai Whitmore. Anticipated the ball in the first place. The step-overs led to the cross. Crumb shot. Yeah, as you say, Mike, did well to anticipate the ball. And then it's a, it's a great effort across the goal. He just wants somebody on the run, not the far post for an easy tap-in. Does so well. Steps over. So strong, isn't he? Oh, the keeper makes a good hand there. Eh? Super save by Rhys Thompson, it must be said. Almost beaten at his near post. Here's Whitmore again, it's helped on and wide. It'll be a goal kick. I don't think we gave in it. Well, we didn't give Rhys Thompson. We didn't give Rhys Thompson enough credit there for that. For that save, super save, but almost beaten at his near post. But here come Colwyn Bay, Akpan to Downs. Downs strikes his cross against Lee Jenkins, and it's out for a throw. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I thought it was a it was a cross, but yeah. you'll see here Whitmore is looking for 
and unique. Well, he's just looking for that near post and whoa. Well, that would have been a killer goal had that one gone in. Yeah, I think it would have been. Carroll into Whitmore. Been particularly prominent in the first minutes of the second half, and there he is again. Jenkins just steps across. Continues his run. Feeds it to Carroll. Carroll wide is slightly short of Ben Fawcett. Frustration for Fawcett as that move developed. Jenkins out of position. Ricky Ricky Watts just stepped into where Lee Jenkins should have been. Abruz he spreads it towards Ben Fawcett. We've spoken how well you know Jenkins can read the ball in the air and you know he's got a great leap on him, but he's also probably one of the quicker players out there as well. He underestimated how quick and how fast he can get. You see that challenge go in again. It's another strong challenge. I think it's a free kick against Jamie Cummings on Yori Humphrey's far side. Yeah, it takes the touch here. Bit heavy, but just comes through him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing malicious in that tackle, I must admit, you know. He's just run into him, but a free kick is awarded for Haverford West, who lead by two goals to nil. Six minutes played in the second half. Yeah, going back to the Lee Jenkins debate, we spoke to uh, Mark Jones... Uh, during half time, and uh, he mentioned that he, he reckoned he was probably one of the quickest players in the Welsh Prem. Well, I'm not gonna argue with that. He certainly is, you know, his, his turn of pace as well is, is very impressive. The fact that he could get up to speed so quickly. Well, said, you, you know, you, you and I were talking before the game, is one of those players that could go up a level. Hill looking for the run of Kai Owen. Alfred West do clear as conditions deteriorate here at the Oggy Bridge Meadow. Earlier we had a bit of wind, now we've got rain. It's a dark and dank April afternoon in Pembrokeshire. Anything you don't associate with this county, but here is Whitmore. Whitmore feeds Fawcett. Fawcett! Well, he went for the pile driver, missed the target, should have done better, Ben Fawcett. Well, Whitmore thinks he should have squared that back to him, played the one, two. I don't do it. You know, I, I think he, he's right in taking on the shot. It's a good pass, it's a good weight on the pass. Why not go for it? But if he is taking the shot there, he's got to hit the target. Whitmore really, really wanted that ball back, squared for him there. He was open, but, uh, you know, as an attacker... Just should have hit the target. Uh, you saw the reaction of Tony Pennock. He knows that a third goal would ensure victory here against Colwyn Bay. And pile that pressure on Pennebont before they start against Pontypridd at half past two at the University of South Wales campus. This is Hart. Hart back to Thompson, who made that excellent save from the Kai Whitmore cross shot. Owen gives it away. Whitmore again into the feet of Watts. Abruzzese again, quick feet, wonderful play by Risa Abruzzese. And he's caught again from behind by Downs. Downs throws, well, he's complaining, Alex Downs. But I don't think he has anything to complain about. Oh, and frustration as well, kicking the ball away. He's not happy. He's just. You well, could argue. You could argue both of them were coming together. The referee decided to give it to in favour of Whitmore. Whitmore felt that one. They don't want to lose another player to injury. Tony Pennock and Haverford West extensive injury list but this is Abruzzese he floated in towards the far post Jenkins wins the header but this time he couldn't direct it on target another good opportunity for Jenkins at the far post yeah familiar formation there 
Abruzzese with the free kick floats it in this time not going for the power and Jenkins was just behind him couldn't get the power on the header that he would have wanted to McCready McCready looks wide Humphreys comes for it not the best touch by Yori Humphreys on his left foot pressure on the defenders Akpan oh on the volley super play by Akpan but a super save as well by Zach Jones. Just, Caught... get, just gets the dip to it, doesn't he? Falls to him perfectly. That was going in. OK, a bit central, but certainly Jones has to get a strong hand to that one. Great skill by Akban. Well, left or right of the keeper, that was in. Full-blooded pile driver by Udoyen Akpan. Top scorer for Colwyn Bay. Ten goals this season. Well, that goal would have made a difference. In it comes. Half an opportunity, edge of the box. There's a shout for handball from Alex Downs. Nothing given. Haverford West clear, and they still lead by two goals to nil. Creamer wins the ball back to Tom Creamer but immediately gives it back to Abruzzese who looks long into the teeth of this keen wind that's blowing from left to right here at the Augie Bridge Meadows collected by Kai Owen oh, again anticipated well by Ricky Watts the Halford West captain feeds it inside to Fawcett Fawcett runs into coming Whitmore doing all the closing down for Haverford West. Ball played forward by Colwyn Bay towards Akpan. As Kevin Evans said at half time, everything's coming through Akpan. And we will hope for a substitution. Well, Declan Carl leaving the pitch, but here is the shout for the penalty. Just brushes his hand. Doesn't know much about it. It would have been a soft penalty in my decision in my opinion but that's his last contribution to the game yeah Declan Carroll surprise inclusion today the first start since rejoining from Moncton Swifts is substituted after 57 minutes and on the hour the comeback kid it's Johan Evans who spent last season here at the Bridge Meadow has been playing his football in Gibraltar and has rejoined until the end of the season. Johan Evans scored three goals last season. It'll be interesting to see the shape on Haverford West following that. Well, he's gone straight into a centre forward position as Johan Evans. And the ball is played wide by Whitmore towards Fawcett. And it's a throw to the Bluebirds far side. Yeah, I think I think he will probably fit into the same. It's a like for like, if you like, for, for Carroll, just making that forward run now there's the cross but it eludes everybody and out for a Colwyn Bay throw Steve Evans must be thinking of making a change as well as we approach the hour mark. This is Harry Owen, scored the winner last week. They need to win to Colwyn Bay. McCready. Watt steps in, loses out. It's a race between Creamer and Tabone. Tabone wins the rat race. Feeds Whitmore. Whitmore past Kai Owen, who's on a yellow card. And Reese Thompson rushes off his line to collect. But I think we are preparing a Colwyn Bay substitution. And an influential one at that. Well, they've got to go for it, Mike, haven't they? You know, 
they're two two nil down fighting for survival it looks as if they'll bring a defender off probably Hart if he's on a yellow card they'll change of formation Hart the most experienced of the um, Colwyn Bay defenders at 32 Hill regains possession feeds Cummings Creamer has made the run opportunity here to pull it back and it's out for a corner space in front of Tom Creamer there and he exploited it yeah, I think everybody was thinking it'll, uh, it'll do the substitution but Creamer went on a, on a good run Steve Evans wants to hold on making this change. You can see why. An hour play, 2-0 to Halford West. It's played in low, but it's a poor quality on the corner. No pressure at all on the Bluebirds defence. Davis floats it in towards Downs. Downs wins the initial header. Here he comes again, Downs. But a rush of blood by Alex Downs and his right foot shot goes out for a throw. Yeah, wins the header against Abruzzese, falls to him, just goes for the power. And, uh, I think it ends up then in the end for a, for a throw in. But um, here's the change. Hart comes off. As I say, he was on a yellow card, so probably just thinking about him there. So a change of formation must be with Dan Atkins wearing 11. A winger coming on, formerly of Prostatin. One goal this season against Aberystwyth. So, so. Atkins on, Hart off. Akpan. Fawcett. Oh, that's good play between Fawcett and Evans. Out wide to Dyer. Dyer cuts inside. Oh, Whitmore, poor first touch by Kai Whitmore there. That was a promising move by the Bluebirds. And it breaks down and he's given it straight to Creamer. Creamer on the counter. Downs in space on the right-hand side. Finds Downs. Line from Jamie Cummings and more frustration again. Yeah, just, just thinking on that, on that opportunity for Whitmore, we'll, we'll see it now. It's, it's good play by Halford West. Does the right thing here, Dyer, just holds up the play. But he has to take a touch because there's a bauble on it, he has to take a touch. Whitmore would have preferred that plane on the floor for him to shoot on the one rather than having to take the touch, but he's forced into taking the touch. Evans, that's a good pass, into the feet to Fawcett, Fawcett trying to glide away from Dan Davis, but Davis stood his ground in good play by the player on loan from Wrexham. Yeah, David, David did well there, because I thought Fawcett was in for a second, but got his challenge in, and it was a good challenge of that. Downs carries down the right hand side into the feet of Akpan. Akpan to McCready, the captain. McCready followed everywhere by Ricky Watts. Creamer. Positive run by Tom Creamer, but the final ball is poor and it's out for a goal kick. Colwyn Bay welcome Barry Town in the final league game of the season at Llanelian Road whilst uh, Halford West travel to Pennabont I'm sure Tony Pennock will have his eyes on the game that's played this afternoon at the USW campus Pontypridd against Pennabont so 
It'll be out of Colwyn's Bay's hands if they lose this, and it'll be over to Aberystwyth. And can they get anything at Barry Town? They did last year. We got all three points with Steph Davis's dramatic headed winner. A little shrug of the shoulders from Steve Evans. Almost like, what, what more can we do? Trying to think about an opportunity that's been created in the first 20 minutes of the second half, Sean. I mean, it was that Akpan shot that was the nearest they've come to a goal. Akpan helps the ball on. Downs. Throws himself into the tackle. The free kick is awarded against Oscar Borg. And they are attracting... Alfred West, a little bit more pressure on themselves from set pieces. Well, it's another opportunity, isn't it, for them just to get it in, looking for Akpan possibly here. They did get a goal from a corner last week. It was Harry Owen who got it. Yeah. But that free kick from Tom McCready eludes everybody. Harmless and more frustration for Steve Evans. Well, he knows, you know, the opti opportunities like that is where they're going to get back into the game. It just seems as if he's just, you know, as you were saying, what more can he do as a, as a manager when he sees quality like that not being put into the box? Well, he's brought Atkins on, and they've not been able to get Atkins into the play, unless, of course, he's on as well to try and frustrate Risa Bruzzese and push him back. See the strength of the wind here. Zach Jones only just managing to reach halfway, but here's Akpan. Owen, oh, back to Thompson. Kai Owen is in support. Try and play the ball through the lines to Creamer. Creamer to Dan Davis. He's been impressive. Daniel Davis on loan from Wrexham. Coming. Coming. And Humphreys goes down. No free kick given. Goal kick only. Better from Colwyn Bay. Well, he can't believe it. But better uh, with Colwyn Bay. Playing it out from the back. Stretching Halford West and okay, it goes on for a goal kick, but better in terms of, the, of their formation and, and them just keeping the ball in general. Owen looks up, goes on a run. Yeah, the options are just limited, aren't they, in terms of you know the, the play that's in front of him. That's why he had to carry it for so far, for so long. There's number nine who's coming off, and that's Jamie Cumming, and he's been a threat down the left-hand side. There's a bit more of a free roll in the second half, but he'll be replaced by Dan Jones. Dan Jones, 20 years of age, makes 27 appearances, only one goal this season. They really have gone for three at the back now, with Harry Owen in the middle, Kai Owen to the right. Here comes the cross, but it's too... Close to Zach Jones. Well, this is the penultimate weekend of the season. The final games will be decided next Sunday on Sunday at 
at two o'clock there will be a live game on Scorio, but we're not quite sure where yet. <laughs> Much will be dependent on the results this afternoon. A nil-nil draw between Connors Key and Bala last night. But Halford West two nil up here. I suppose the sharp money on the day of the Grand National will be perhaps Pennebont versus Haverford West. If Pennebont managed to win their game at Pontypridd, then it'll be a straight shootout for seventh place. But here come Colwyn Bay. Oh, is there a pull there? No appeals. And here come Halford West. It's Ricky Watts. Plays the ball into space. It's in front of Ben Fawcett. Fawcett, excellent play by Fawcett. Oh, but a rush of blood once again. Opportunities to play the ball wide to the right to Ricky Watts. Went for the Hollywood shot. Yeah, initially deals well. Just gets a bauble there. But that's the uh, that's the gamble now with uh, Colwyn Bay. They, they're throwing one, two, three forwards. It will open up for Halford West as we see the potential. Go, go, go. Oh, he's falling for me. Yeah. Owen plays it wide. This is Hill. Hill cuts inside, opportunity to cross it into McCready. McCready, the captain against Tabone. Rolls it across the six yard box, but it's Jenkins is there again for the Bluebirds. Dyer. No foul on Rio Dyer and Colwyn Bay win the ball back. Real attacking intent now from Steve Evans' side. Nothing to lose. 2 0 down. Needs something from this game to put pressure on Aberystwyth and Pontypridd. Forward it goes towards Akpan. Rio Dyer has gone down and requires treatment. Rio Dyer moved to Halford West from Britain Ferry Llansawel, managed by his father Andy Dyer. And of course, they celebrated promotion in midweek with a win against Ammonford. Yeah, he's the slip. He's looking for the foul. There was an initial tug on him, uh, but didn't go down and then carried on. But here is, as you say, Andy Dyer. Former uh, Avan Lido and Neath manager Andy Dyer and bringing Sansawel Britain Ferry back up to the Welsh Premier League. Are they not playing tennis in a bit? Yeah, they are. I was just thinking, I think it's a quarter past five kickoff this ah. evening. That's that's the uh, uh, that's the key here. So opportunity for Andy Dyer to see his son play this afternoon for Halford West and then to manage his promotion championship winning side against their local rivals, uh, Llanelli. It's been a titanic struggle between the two, but that defeat at Goitre for Llanelli. Oh, Thompson, opportunity oh. and it's taken. The mistake, a catastrophic error by Rhys Thompson in the goal for Colwyn Bay presents the ball to Ben Fawcett and he curled the ball around the goalkeeper into the top corner and now the three points must be safe and Colwyn Bay may well be down it's Haverford West 3 Colwyn Bay nil. Fawcett makes this look easy okay it's a nightmare absolute nightmare for the goalkeeper tries to find Owen, but Fawcett curls it to the top corner and makes it look very, very easy. It's not an easy finish. Keeper's in no man's land, obviously, but he still needs to find the corner. And as you say, Mike, it looks pretty bleak on Steve Evans' side now. I can't see your way back into the game after that. He'll be delighted as well, Pennock. And now potentially he can make some substitutions, get some fresh legs on there. And half an eye on next week's game, which could be a big one. As they say, that could be the live game, depending on results today. Rio Dyer received treatment a few minutes ago and he will be replaced. He receives the congratulations of his manager, Tony Pennock, and he's replaced by Harry John, 
another of Haverford West Academy graduates. And Harry John, this will be his, well, his 12th substitute appearance to go with his 12 starts this season. He is the captain of the Welsh Schools and Colleges team managed by Mark Lloyd-Williams, who are on an excellent run this season. And it's over to you in Pontypridd and Aberystwyth following that third goal by Ben Fawcett. And Fawcett is clear with Johan Evans in the middle. He looks for Evans. But this time, Rhys Thompson collects. That's a great ball by Lee Jenkins as well down the right. Good release for set. Humphreys calls, heads. Two with more. Humphreys again, a race down that right-hand side. So it'll be Colwyn Bay to entertain Barrytown next Sunday. And Aberystwyth play Pontypridd. But everything depending on this afternoon's results with Pennebont travelling to Pontypridd, Aberystwyth travelling to Barry, and it could still be as you were if all three were to lose. Into the last quarter of an hour, and a shake of the head and more frustration for Steve Evans. Can't legislate for mistakes from your goalkeeper like that. No, you can't. And I don't know, they were one of the sides I thought, you know, they're coming into the league, they yeah, great facilities up there. They got the the attendance figures up and you're just hoping that they could just kick on, but uh, it looks as if, you know, it's done. Well, they've got to rely on other results going their way now. That's, that's the only thing they can hope for. would be interesting in terms of we always talk about pressure on managers and what have you pressure before today's game you, you know will, will there be pressure on the Colwyn, Colwyn Bay committee perhaps to look elsewhere if they were to be relegated yeah you know, that's, that's, that's a question for the, for the committee I think he's well liked up there Steve Evans you know they'll have to have a, a review of the season and, and look at uh, what can uh, can be improved, obviously, but that's the decision for the board. Well, he's a very well decorated manager with 300 appearances in the Welsh Premier League, caps for Wales, seven championships. You can't den deny Steve Evans's credentials. And this is Dan Davis. Davis, perhaps most impressive of the defenders. For Colwyn Bay this afternoon, and a foul awarded to Colwyn Bay against Luke Tabone. The tackle from behind on Akpan. This is McCready. Is that a consolation goal for Steve Evans's men? Dan Jones. Again, the ball is cleared easily by Haverford West downfield. Fourth time the teams have met this season. Two victories for Haverford West, one draw, and it looks like this one will be the third victory. Evans, head up, excellent pass, plenty of space for Whitmore. Whitmore is strong, but is forced out by Kai Owen. But Whitmore's continued his run. Kai Whitmore, oh, excellent tackle, excellent tackle by Harry Owen. A goal-saving tackle by Owen. Well, he had Evans to his size here. He takes the touch, he wants his goal. There, Evans is out of shot, but he's on his right. And he should have squared it, because he was free. You'll see it here, Evans comes into shot. If he rolls out across to him, it's an easy tap in for him, but Whitmore certainly wanted a crack at goal himself there. 
Back with his side, 3 0 up. Tony Penner can afford to bring more substitutes on, and it's Fletcher Pickton, 19 years of age, for Ben Fawcett. And Yori Humphreys leaves the field, and he is replaced by Jacob Owen. So more academy graduates come to the field. It just goes to emphasise the importance of the academy setup, and particularly here in Haverford West, who brought through so many local players. And in the absence of uh, Martel Taylor Cross, it's interesting to see Fletcher Pickton come on, only 19 years of age. And he's got 20 goals and six assists for the academy side this season. Into the last 10 minutes, Haverford West 3, Colwyn Bay 0. Akpan. Ball is cleared. Whitmore. Whitmore looking for the run of Fletcher Pickton. Collected by Owen. What? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. So you very, very rarely see this man to bone on his on his behind or on his knees. He's pushed over there. I don't know if he slipped. He's just try, try, he's trying to continue running with his knees. Yeah, no. <laughs> but going back to your point yeah. in terms of seeing the academy players get, come on, uh, you know, it's it, it's great to see, but it should, obviously should be you know replicated in in other clubs. You don't see it often enough that. Academy players and those who are playing in the under 19s get a, an opportunity to step up to the level. So, this is great to see from Harford West. Steph Evans and Steph Edwards and Owen Cushion have come on for Colwyn Bay. Ooh. Goodness me, I thought you were never going to take us out there. It's straight for you, then, <laughs> wasn't it? Good. Well, as we go into the final set of matches this afternoon, uh, uh, penultimate set of matches this afternoon, Sean, how do you think things will go at Pontypridd? Oh. Pontypridd Pont against Penabont. Head on the block. He head on the block. Pontypridd, Penabont. I don't know. I just got. I got a. Oh, that's the one that nearly came flying towards you and uh, yeah. myself, man. I don't know. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna go with a with an Arba and Penabont uh, Pontypridd win. Well. Away, away wins at both of them. Yeah. So Penabon to win a Pontypridd, Aberystwyth to win a Barry. Yeah. That's an interesting one. Aberystwyth, of course, stayed up last season. That dramatic victory against Carnarvon on the final afternoon of the season. And they are playing with fire. One of only two sides to have remained in the Welsh Premier League since its inception in 1992-93. Aberystwyth Town and Newtown. When you look about the investment in Haverford West as well from Rob Edwards um, as chairman, bringing in Tony Tony Pennock, a seventh place finish if that's how it finishes, Sean, will, will, will Rob Edwards be happy with that? Well, he will obviously if he win the playoffs. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. But um, I think they were. They, they, see this happen. Dan Jones up to cushion. This is Dan Davis under pressure. Oh, nice little touch there, but there is an offside. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I was just going to say, I think with the investment that they've made into the club, they, they've got to be a top six uh, team, yeah. in, in my opinion. Yes, they've had a number of injuries um, this season, but certainly you're looking at a club that should be competing in, in the top six and, and they, they would want to be one of those clubs mm. in the top six competing against the likes of mm. the new Saints Connors Key Bala etc and this 3-0 victory will do a world of good for their goal difference as well because the goal difference for Pennebont is a better one 
and I think there was a five goal difference so it'll be down to two goals now as we go into that final game if that is what is to pass free kick awarded to uh, Colwyn Bay far side again it's to Bone and <laughs> he's, found, he's found the foot pulse London buses. <laughs> it swung in towards Downs. It was Downs again who made that run. Yeah, that's a good quality cross in. Plenty of pace on the cross. Bit of dip and Downs can't quite get his head towards it. He's been in everything today, isn't he, Downs? Yeah. into the last five minutes. We did expect a reaction from Steve Evans' men in the second half. What do you make of the way that Colwyn, how Colwyn Bay played in the second half? I can think of the Downs header and the Akpan shot, but that's just about it. Yeah, the Akpan shot probably is the pick of the mm. opportunities for Colwyn Bay. Okay, you know, they've done their best in terms of changing the formation of the side. Good ball, oh, that. Oh, Pickton, and he picks out... Whitmore, Whitmore has to check. Harry John. John. Clever play by the young man, 18 years of age. This is Whitmore. Whitmore. And there is a foul against Whitmore. And that's where he gets frustrated and perhaps the weak area of his game. Well, one touch too many. Yeah. Mean, yeah. Certainly athletic, certainly done well since he's come from Penabolt. I, you know, I saw him at Penabolt, I thought he was a good player and one to potentially take a, a chance on and Harvey West have seen the, the potential in his play. Brought him down here. To Bowen against Akpan, Akpan gets there first, but Zach Jones again competently off his line, looking for a tenth clean sheet of the season and a third against Colwyn Bay. And again, Steve Evans, he prowls the technical area. A puff of the cheeks, a folding of the arms. Supporters have travelled so far from North Wales to support his side. But meanwhile, here come Haverford West and his Fletcher Picton looking for Johan Evans. Watts wins it back. Owen. But Halford West, you have to give them credit as well. They've managed the second half well, haven't they? Yeah, you always felt when, once that third goal went in, it was all over for Colin B. But, you know, they started on fire, possibly a bit too easy. Abruzzese in a race with uh, Dan Jones. Jones wins it, feeds Downs, an opportunity for a consolation goal here. But again, it's to Bone, who's across. I'm surprised that Bruzzese stayed on, actually. Yeah. He's, he's limping in front of us here, uh, Sean. He's taken a few whacks this afternoon. And with the uh, with the potential of a, of a winner-takes-all game against Pennebont, I'm surprised yeah. he stayed on. Akpan to McCready, McCready to Downs, and continued his run, but for the first time this afternoon, the sun makes an appearance, and it's shining on the Bluebirds at the moment. So the app on your phone does work then, like, Yes. <laughs> but perhaps is the sun setting on... Colwyn Bay's hopes of staying in the Cymru Premier. Here comes Whitmore. Whitmore crosses towards Fletcher Picton, looking for his first goal in the senior side. Whitmore against Dan Davis. And Whitmore does turn him. He's done well this time, Kai Whitmore pulls it back. 
Johan Evans, but the shot is blocked by Harry Owen and flies out for a late corner for Haverford West. Yeah, not sure if he needed to let the ball run across him here. Could he have taken it on the run on his right foot? Decides to opt for the left-footed curler into the far post, but by the that time, defenders come across and does a does well to put his block in. And it will be Evans to take this corner. Oscar Borg up from the back to Bourne and Jenkins there as well. Evans on his trusty left foot, and it comes. Ball is cleared, and it's Harry John under pressure from Akpan. The physicality of Akpan wins the ball back. Downs, and then the ball is helped wide to Dan Jones. Jones on to Alex Downs. Downs crosses towards the far post. Oh, super save by Zach Jones. The header down by Creamer bounced in front of Jones. But the long arm of Jones sends it out for a corner. Yeah, Downs does extremely well just to dig that out to the far post. And Creamer doesn't get any power on it. Jones goes down well. Strong hand, but no power in the header. Three minutes added at the end of the 90. It's still 3-0 to Haverford West. Goes by Abruzzese, Jenkins and Fawcett separating the teams. The ball nearly takes the photographer out. <laughs> That's it being a photographer Lee Jenkins has been named player of the match by Owen Tidder Jones you agree with that one? I think Abu Zizi's done well as well but Lee Jenkins in terms of the overall play he's been ever consistent as he is yeah. in terms of never doing anything wrong willing to join in the attack as, uh, well, as we already said, you know, he is one of those players that uh, that could step up a level. I think I've described him as a bit of a colossus at the back for Haverford West this season. I went to Jones describing him as the Terminator. <laughs> Any... The Terminator in the age of <laughs> Cushing, back to Thompson, little unsure on the grassy service, Reese Thompson. Ball played forward and Whitmore's after it again. Into the final minute of the three added at the end of an afternoon. That's going to pile pressure on Pennebont and give Aberystwyth the opportunity to confirm their safety for another season. Because if Abba win at Barry, then Abba would be safe. And it would confirm Colwyn Bay's relegation. And the highlights of this afternoon's games will be available on X and Facebook. Scorio from about 5.15 this afternoon. And a deserved victory at the end, Sean. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the first half, ooh, you see that challenge going by Downs. You see this play possibly the last play as well. McCready, McCready shoots oh. and McCready scores. A consolation goal for Tom McCready. Excellent strike by McCready. It's the final action of the 90 minutes. No clean sheet for Zach Jones and Haverford West. McCready shot, Sean. Super finish. Well, it is. You don't see that very often, but it absolutely nestles in the end in the top corner. Off the hands of Jones in the goal, but yeah, it's a consolation goal at best. Well, goals by Risa Bruzesi, a super free kick and assist for him as well. A free kick floated into the box. Back header by Lee Jenkins added the second before half time. And a third by Ben Fawcett. More pressure on Steve Evans, it's not quite, quite all over yet, but it's fine, final score, Haverford West 3, Colwyn Bay 1. Well, Tony, today it was all about just getting the three points, that's exactly what you've done, what's the main emotion right now? It's just uh, another three points, like you said, you know, disappointed to concede in the last second of the game, clean sheets are vital, but um, before the game I'd have taken a 3-1 win and uh, we just move on to next Sunday.
Talk to me about those first two goals, two quick goals early on. Put you in control of the game. Was that? Was there an element of relief with that? Yeah, we knew that uh, if we could score early, it would be tough for Colwyn Bay to uh, get back in the game. But two quick goals, you know, two set pieces and the basic football, really. The conditions sort of, you know, made us do that first half, playing with the, with the wind. And, um, you know, when Abu gets a free kick in those positions, he hits a target that goes in more often than not. And then Lee Jenkins always gets his head in the box for set pieces. So they're important players for us on set pieces. And, um, you know, it, it, it made it a little bit easier going up 2-0 that early. Can you sit back and relax this afternoon now, Tony? Or will, be, will you be keeping an, keeping an eye on what's happening in Ponte Preet? No, I always try to keep my phone away from me, but somebody else will be telling me something, no doubt. But uh, all, all we can do is our job. We've done that today now. And we, and, you know, we've got no injuries, which is massive for us at the minute because we've got so many out. But... Um, it's down to others to do their job now. All we can do is our own job. Tony, take a Thank you. Thank you. Tony Pennock and Dean Bodlon. I did one for him. He did Carl Goliath. Never that ever came here. He wouldn't dig. And then our seventh fat, our end of Brida, our game and our now, my boy Colwyn and Angen Quirth and the board of the new elder seventh fat. I got a copy of the machine. Are the Carl? My brother is the punter. Play the Clark Kelly. Then the game all. I've been doing that. You know, they make a kick off by Colwyn, Anna Bourne, Angen Gwyrth, Dyrchyn i Glywed Gan i'r Eolor nhw Steve Evans. Steve, an incredibly difficult game, an incredibly difficult day for Colwyn Bay. How do you sum that performance up? Yeah, you can plan, you can prepare all you want, but when you give silly mistakes and goals away like we have done today, you know, it's been a bit of the story of the season. Um, you know, I thought probably Hartford West was a better team on the day, um, but... You know, Sam Hart had a rush of blood to the head for the first goal. Second goal, you know, we're too deep. You know, Lee Jenkins got a free header. It's, you know, it's um, schoolboy defending. And then, obviously, Reese has made the mistake for the, the last there. But, you know, we kept pushing. We kept trying. You know, I'm proud of my players. You know, we never give up. You know, we kept going to the end. You know, now, now our fate is, um, you know, in the hands of other people. So, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, um, yeah. Considering there was so much at stake today, Steve, how, how much does this hurt right now? Yeah, I'm hurting. You know, the club's hurting, the fans are hurting, the players are hurting. You know, but you know, we didn't start well today. You know, I thought they were first to everything the first about 20 minutes, and then we got to get through the game. And then, you know, it brought to give yourself a two 0 uh, mountain to climb. You know, it's um, yeah, it's a tough day. A long trip back up north awaits, and I guess it's over to Pontypridd. Anna Baristrith to potentially do Colwyn Bay a favour? Uh, no, I don't want um, them to do us a favour. I want um, Penna and um, Barry to do us a favour. Um, but, you know, it's out of our hands. You know, we needed to win to make sure uh, we took it to the last game. We haven't. Um, but they're going for Europe for a reason. You know, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, um, we'll go into next week and give it our all. Steve Diach. Cheers. Yep. Well, what you believe in Carad, or Snow Snesha, when the Bunny Bid agreed with the game of Pramar and sang it by Colwyn. My government, I'm wrong in Gwirth, and upon Kevin and Yadakir Collier, a rail hander, I'm a right son, all forth. Tipping up now in the new cub, not die, the new Whitmore and Brassier, and I don't know where she drops a can at the We're well, Timor with Colwyn Bay, they won't really worry, Troy Lan and Madid, and I'm 40, and Gamedal went with them. Wari ar nor game at the club man with four set only really really happy to get a game four set in the middle of the cal game ar benig a a heidi cal goal and a heavy da oni by am de galia with only them really metal by colin me no cal cal shot ar no goal i wed awir on um uh, what a take, Steve Evans. He tried on one hour, then Sharad is that honest on uh, a great with the goal. You know, the ill your heavy and then they gone there. Now, for this, for sure, the board for that true to more heavy. Da, um, uh, but then, 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 I said, I'm going to go to the house. I said, I'm going to go to the house. 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 i am going to go to the house 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 i am going to go to the house
i'r clwb ar y cyfan, felly mae hwnna yn cymryd am ylwaith uh, rhywbeth wrth uh, chwarewyr, ond uh, o ran heddi, hwnnw nhw ddim ddigon dda. Ie, yeah, uh, y gwyrth fan nhw angen, mae nhw, dyn nhw ddim eisiau gola bod ystwyth na pont y pryd yn ennill pro ma yn y bwn, chi gofe, mae'r ddoi yn nhw'n colli yn barod, mae'r bari ar y blaen o gol i ddim yn erbyn, a bod ystwyth mae pen y bont ar y blaen ym hont y pryd, sydd ddim yn nhw, oedd yn dau holffordd choeth, tafeth, draw yn ei hydsioned eto. Li trifoint arall i Hulford, pa mae'r braf yw e'n teimlo i gael byd y goliath arall? Ie, yeah, mae'n neis cael byd y goliath nawr. Hwnna pedwar, mewn pedwar, a sy'n mynd i cael hwnna tymor hynt o um, tywalu, betlu i dynefu, ond ie, uh, yeah, fach gyda'r trifoint. Lot i drafer, ond fi moyn gofyn i ti am yr ail gol. Oedd y goliath cyn arna, ti helpu setlo pethau lawr yn neis iawn, dwi'n? O, oh, do, mae'n uh, always helpu i cael y gol gynnar. A wedyn, y cael y ddwy gol yn y deg mynd i gynta. O, tywanu ni ddim cael gêm fel ar trwy tymor, ond i cael gêm i Benny, well, basically oedd y gêm Benny yn y 10 munud uh, gyntaf, uh, lygus, ond, uh, yeah, nice. A hefyd, nath o chi reoli i'r gêm, trwy gydol y gêm hefyd, yn ystod i wan y rhan mawr yn hwnna, pan mor blaes di ti gyda dy perfformiad di, oedd o wain tydy Jones, oedd e'n galw sydd y 2 munud yn i sylwai fyddai? O, oh, cymryd ni, eh? O, oh, na, na, boys rwy'n fi'n helpu fi fyd, sy'n mod i'n dyn fis wneud y gwaith galed, pethau, mae pawb yn y tîm yn helpu i gilydd mas, a, uh, yeah. Un gêm fach arall i fyn yn erbyn Penabont, DC, nesa pobl o genfer i chi. Dyna ni, Sioned gyda Lee Jenkins, fi'n bosod yn y fe trwy'r gêm. Ti wedi bod na, ti wedi chwarae gyda dydd, Cymru, dan i'n ar hyn gen, fe wneud i o Lee Jenkins. O, trwy gyntaf i wal e fyw a, a mwynhau, mwynhau beth mi'n weld wrth o fe, a siarad gyda Mark Jones, Mark Jones yn caru fe. A ddi, ma fe. Ma fe yn caru fe. A bach yna, ber eir ond, wasto yn arbennig i weld rhywun o ardal ni'n neud yn rheoli dda. A, a, a fel ni wedi gweld gyda Owain, fel ni wedi gweld gyda Will, uh, Will Evans, sy'n neud yn dda yn casnewydd, am bell waith, na gyn nhw sydd angen i'w cyfle. Uh, a na gyn nhw'n siwr fod o flane, ond ma fe wedi waredd llwyth o gemau, bach gen ifanc. Beth sy'n dda gyda fe yn hwlffordd, ma fe gyda Tony Pennock sydd yn nabod, beth ma fe'n edrych fel i mi mewn i'r cyngair. Golgeid wad dda at yn ole, am ddiffonwyr dda i'r bob och o'r e, felly mae ma popeth yn lle i ddo fe caru ymlaen dysgu, a wedi unwaith mae fe'n cael y cyfle, wrth gwrs mae rhaid i fe cymru de. Ie, yeah, dyddorol, mae yna un gol fach ar ôl yw gol, fe allai fod yn bwysig rhwng nawr a diwedd y tymor, fe allai fe lawr i gwaniaeth goliau, gan bod a bod ystwyth a pont y pridd yn colli, Chwam byth y rhyfedd yn gallu digwydd weithiau. Mae'r ma gêm mae'n mor odd yn y weon. Bydd Jenkins yn, yn byddai'n edrych nôl ar y gêm hyn, meddwl o falle byddai chi mynd mas i, i'r ymddiffon, i'r ymosod tyme bach yn gynt, ond rhaid edrych ar y gol geidwar, ok, with the ball, the ball just in bownsio o flane, ond a byddai'n edrych chi roi hwnna o amgylch y post i'n trwynesa, ond os bydd hwnna Jenkins yn trwynesa, byddai'n fe mas i'r ymosod o'r unig siŵr bod y ddim y, y lle gyda fe'n cael y saethu. A dyna ni, ei, diolch am dy gwmni, ni wedi mwynhau cael ti yma. Carry board, ma. Rolio'r cloc na nôl, yeah. ni'n holi ar y gwartyr canrif yn nôl. Yeah. Dwi wedi'n mynd i'n dawel dim, dwi wedi'n 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 dawel dim, Gwelt i cyn fwy i'r gobeithio. Kevin Ahern Evans gyda ni pnawn ma lot mwy o bêl droed i ddod cofiwch. Fori, byd o'ch mynd o'n bell. Cael dydd yn erbyn a fytrawe mae'n rownd derfynol ar gyfer y merched Llws yr Adran y Genero. Pen os nos nesa, ni am y siŵr ble, mi fydd na gêm fyw i chi. Mae'n mynd i fod yn gêm bwysig. Mae'n i wneud y math cyn â ni. Diolch am eich cofni fel arfer. Wel ni chi ddim fwy i'r. Ta ra.